Hi, in this particular video we've been asked to look at parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, these kind of topics are around about level 6 I guess at GCSE. Um, they're fairly straightforward, there's a couple of things however that you need to remember. So the first thing is we've been given this piece of information, we're told that this line is the line of y equals a half x plus 1. What that means is, is that the gradient is a half and it crosses this y-intercept at plus 1. Okay, so in answer to the first question, we've got a parallel line. What I mean by parallel line is any line that's parallel to this. So it could be up here and it's running a bit like railway lines. It's running an equal distance apart. If it's an equal distance apart, it means then that the gradient is exactly the same. So in order to answer the first question, we could say that a... A parallel line could be something like y equals a half x, which is the same gradient, but then it crosses the y-intercept at some other point. So it could be, let's say, plus 4, or you could have minus 15, something like that. It doesn't really matter, providing the gradient remains the same. So in terms of a parallel line, it's just all about the gradient. Next one is another line that passes through 0, 1. Well, this is the opposite, really. This is all about this bit here. And what we're saying is, is the gradient might change, but it goes through this point here. So it could be a line that looks something like that, hopefully a little bit straighter than the way I've drawn it on the board, but hopefully you'll get the idea. That's awful. Okay, <laughs> all right, something like that. Okay, so it might be that this has got, say, a gradient of four, but it crosses through exactly the same point, which is the plus one. So in answer to B, we could say Y equals four X plus 1, or it could be 2 thirds of x plus 1, or 6x plus 1, it doesn't really matter. Okay, the other part of it, which is the bit people get a little bit stuck on, is the perpendicular line through B. And what they're basically saying is that rather than in line like that, you've actually got another line which is perpendicular. What we mean by perpendicular is it's at 90 degrees. Okay, well, the thing that you need to remember with that is the gradient of a perpendicular line is something called the negative reciprocal. Okay, let me just clarify that for a minute. At the moment, the gradient of this line, AB, is y equals a half x plus 1. Okay, well, the negative reciprocal of this is minus 2. So what we've done is we've flipped it over, which is the reciprocal. It's a bit like saying the reciprocal of 1 third is exactly the same as 3 over 1. Okay, so this is the reciprocal. It's 2 over 1, but then it's the negative, so it's minus 2. So the gradient of this line is minus 2x plus and we need to work out this value of c now before where we knew that it crossed at one we don't know where this line is going to cross it's going to be somewhere up there but we're not quite sure where it is so what we do is we take these coordinates and we plug them into this okay so we know the value of x is 10 and the value of y is 6 so i can simply write 6 equals minus 2 times big bone 10, okay, plus C. And that will then, if we calculate that, will give us the value of C, and then we can write the full equation of the line. Okay, so we've got 6 equals minus 20 plus C. If I add 20 to both sides, I can work out the value of C is 26. So therefore, if we stitch this together and put together this, and this information in order to answer this question here, the perpendicular of line of the line that goes through B at that point, the equation is going to be y equals minus 2x plus 26. And that will answer that question. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. These are quick reminder videos, so uh, you might need to practice this a little bit with your, your teacher or with uh, your textbook. Um, I hope it's given you enough information. Please do add a comment below. Have a look at the other examples and the rest of the playlist. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. 